The doctor is in. Greetings, guys. Welcome back to Doctor Secrets. This is your host, Dr. Sal and Pal. And in today's episode, we're going to cover the medical topic of... Now, Saxenda is a weight loss drug. And uh, outside of the keto diet, I would say, it's definitely out of all drugs, it is the most effective one I've come across so far in my career for weight loss. Weight loss, the type we're talking about where... I send someone away with a prescription and months later they come back and I can hardly recognize them. Those kind of results. So we're talking about Saxenda and uh, first thing you need to know about it is that it's an injectable. So it does not come in an oral, it's injectable. And it basically just comes in one strength which is uh, 0.6 uh, milligrams. So all the titration has to be done with that. So let's talk about the five most common side effects that you may experience or are very likely that you would experience when you're using Saxenda for weight loss. So uh, first off, the study that I'm reporting came direct from the drug manufacturer and the number in the study was pretty substantial, 3,384 souls. Um, and they were on it for a median of 55.9 weeks. So basically a year. Let's just call it even Stephen. So in this group and amongst my own patients, the most common side effect was in 39.3% of patients complained of nausea. Next down the list, one in five people, or 20.9%, complained of diarrhea. 19.4%, so roughly one in five again, complained of constipation. Then 15.7% complained of vomiting and nausea. Then a further 9.6% complained of indigestion or what we call dyspepsia. Now, I hope that you could see a little theme running here. If you look carefully at this, every single one of the five most common side effects all have to do with your gut and stomach feeling unhappy. Every single one. And that stands to reason because this drug is working on acting frustrating your gastrointestinal system so that you are less likely to want to eat and to kill your appetite. Now unlike most drugs in my series this is one of the few where I don't really have that many options to help you with the side effects but there is one thing you could consider the dosing you start at the 0.6 milligrams that's week one then after that, you have an escalation week by week. So you double it to 1.2 the next week, then 1.8 the following week, then 2.4 the week after that. And then finally, you end up on 3 milligrams as your maintenance dose. So one possibility is if these uh, side effects are too egregious for you, would be to try going backwards to the last strength that you could tolerate. Of course, your results aren't going to be as spectacular as if you could push the dose up to the maximum. Now, honestly, despite how onerous these um, side effects look, like this looks horrible that almost half of people complain of nausea, most people that come to me asking for prescription for Saxenda are at the end of their leash. They've already tried every diet known to man. Uh, they've tried all kind of exercise. Typically, there's just a litany of failures over the years, one thing after the next. So most people coming to me for Saxenda are desperate and they're willing to put up with this misery, these different side effects, to get the results that they're looking for of weight loss. Now, one final side effect, which is a bit tongue-in-cheek, which I don't typically have on any of my other drugs that I discuss in this course, 100% of patients complain of wallatitis. 
What is wallatitis? Wallatitis is where something costs so much that it hurts your wallet. This drug is one of the most expensive that I've seen and a lot of drug plans um, don't necessarily cover it. I think the last time I checked it was something like, um, I think it was something like $600 for a month supply or something insane like that. So that's probably one of the only downsides that I really say with the drug. In terms of it's, if you're, if you're paying for your payload loss, it definitely delivers. Uh, like I said, it's very effective at um, weight loss, but there's a price to be paid. It's very expensive. So anyway, guys, I hope that helps you if you were thinking of embarking on Sixender uh, for some weight loss or if you're already on it and wondering if these symptoms are attributable to it. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching and I wish you all the best. Get that weight off. We'll talk again soon. Thanks for watching. Get notified of new videos. Subscribe now. If you found this video helpful, support us by sharing it with all of your friends and throw us a like below. You're a star. Cheers and cheerio.